What's up, renewable energy lovers and solar panel freaks? Welcome to another episode of Solar TV brought to you by Solar Wolf Energy. And I want to do a quick video today about here's another reason of why these solar bidding platforms may or may not be the, the best alternative and the end result. So if you're one of these folks that goes on these multiple solar platforms where you get three, four, five, seven bids and you choose one. Now mind you, these platforms will show you and tell you what size system you need, which takes any liability off the installer. So now, now when it doesn't perform like like the platform said that it would. The platform says you need to have a 6K solar system, and in fact, you need to have an 8. But because you're bidding against six other people, you have to bid it accordingly for a 6. Now, you would be doing the right thing if you told the potential homeowner, look, here's what you actually need. And, and you should do that. The, the problem is I think a lot of people don't for fear of losing that bid or fear of losing that work. So they just install what they're told to do, and then when the system doesn't produce enough and doesn't cover the person's electricity bill, these are the ones going online going, oh, solar's a scam, it doesn't work, blah, 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 blah. And meanwhile, the installer did what he was asked to do, so who's at fault here? It's not the installer. He's, he went and installed what he was asked by the customer and the platform to do, and he did his job, and he got signed off, it was inspected, and it's producing, but it's not producing to the extent of what the homeowner anticipated with because the installer is fulfilling the contracts that they have with the platform. So that's a sticky situation and nobody wants to be there. Unfortunately, it happens, but ultimately the, the, the fault lies with the platform. And, you know, good luck trying to call them and say, hey, well, you know, this, that, and other thing. They're going to give you a million excuses or why it's not, well, we weren't there. We didn't do a site eval. We only used your information. They actually throw it back on the homeowner, giving you yet another reason why these solar platform bidding things are just dog shit. They, they, they're just terrible. We've been over this. You know, maybe years ago, before solar got to the point of having to knife each other, all the installers had to, you know, hamstring each other to try to get some work out of it, which is what's happening now. Years ago, before this happened, it was probably a great idea, and it was working. Customer got ultimate value for a great price. Everybody was happy. Now, when they're doing pennies per watt and barely making anything out of it, this is what you're left with, right? So, food for thought, something to think of. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching the episode of Solo TV.